Lopez. How's it going? I hope all you lovely people are fit and healthy and vaping strong. Um, right, so fortunately for you guys, this is going to be my first review um, and I'm kicking it off with a bang, I'm kicking it off with a hardware review. Um, the original plan was to rev do a juice re review first, um, but I kind of vaped the whole bottle before I got the chance to do the review. I do apologise. But, nevertheless, we're here with a hardware review. Um, I'm looking forward to getting cracking with it. Uh, I'm bound to make a few mistakes as it's the first proper video on the channel, so uh, I do apologise in advance. Um, I might make myself look like a bit of a, a dick, but that's all part of the banter, isn't it, guys? It's all part of the fun. So um, let's get started. So what we got today? We've got this little 30 watt device. Um, I found this whilst browsing my local vape shop. I've not seen these before. Um, the guy who served me said that they're relatively new and not that well known, so I thought, heck, I'll buy it for a review. Uh, this is the uh, Debang Sticks, it's called. Um, so we've got that to review. And we have the E-Leaf Subohm Milo Tank to review. So um, we'll kick it off um, with a a brief description of the mod. It's a 30 watt mod by Debang. Um, it's got a 2100 mAh battery, uh, milliamp power if you're unaware. Uh, micro USB charging port located to the bottom. Um, it is variable wattage and variable voltage. Uh, the usual five clicks on. Um, and it's oh, I've just missed it. It, it displays uh, the bang sticks on the screen. Um, so in adjustable voltage mode, I don't know if you can see that. It starts at one volt and goes all the way up to 8.5 volts. So it's not too shabby, guys. Um, and you. Um, click the fire button three times to switch between modes um, and it goes from 2 watts all the way up to 30 watts um, you can singly click to go up or down or you can press and hold to go up or down uh, and it moves a hell of a lot faster um, it fires from 0.5 ohm up to 3 ohm, I think. Let me just double check, guys. Yeah, it fires from 0.5 ohm to 4 ohm, so it's suitable for you sub ohmers out there. Um, maybe not the hardcore vapors, but uh, someone who's just getting into sub ohming uh, and doesn't want a really expensive mod. Uh, this is for you. Um, otherwise, I would suggest the uh, E-Leaf iStick range. Uh, what else can I tell you about this mod? It comes in a range of different colours. It comes in black, silver, pink, gold and blue. Um, what else can we tell you? It's threaded 510 at the top. But it does come with the Ego adapter that you just screw on the end and then it'll fit your Ego tanks on. Um, now with it being from 0.5 ohm all the way up to 4 ohm, that means it's suitable for your sub ohmers, uh, direct lung hitters. Um, and it's also suitable for you mouth to lungers. So for those of you just getting into vaping that still vape like you would on a, a, a fag, uh, you can do that with this as well. Uh, so it, you know it. It's a pretty good piece of kit for a, an entry level kind of person. I've actually owned this now for 
about two and a half weeks because uh, I wanted to give it a good blast before doing the review. Um, pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. Um, it's easy to use. Um, it's, it's easy to navigate around it. You've just got three buttons, uh, five clicks to turn it on, uh, five clicks to turn it off, uh, three clicks to switch between wattage mode and voltage mode. Um, the design's quite nice. So you've got silver on the front, black sides, silver top, silver bottom. Uh, now, a, a very minor uh, design that I've never seen on any mods. Uh, if you can see the buttons, um, you know like your um, roll-on deodorants with the ball rolls? Well, the buttons roll in the exact same way as that. I'm not too sure what kind of pluses that might have on somebody, but you know, it's a nice touch. It's, it's different. When you first get your device, the buttons or the rolling part is quite stiff. Uh, so if you've really got to have a go at this rolly buttony thing, you've got to give it a good roll. Uh, but for peace sake, guys, whatever you do, don't squirt a load of WD-40 in it because you're just going to fuck the whole thing up. Um, what else is a pro? Copper pin in the 510, uh, and it's also a push pin. So that, that's good. The design, as I say, is nice. Um, cons that I've found. For me personally, it's a bit too small um, for my liking. Um, also, uh, another con is the fact that the micro USB charging port's on the bottom. Um, so you've either got to take your tanks off when you're charging it to prevent your tank leaking everywhere or you've got to uh, rustle up some kind of stand so you can leave your tank on while it's stood up um, I just use my tea, coffee and sugar pots hey, don't knock it if it works um, and that's about it really for the cons, the USB port the fact that it's a little bit small, uh, the top, I would have preferred it to have been flush and not raised on a platform, but there you go. Um, oh, another con that I've found, even though it's a 2100 mAh battery, uh, it still has to be charged a lot. I don't actually believe it is a 2100 mAh battery, I think it's significantly less. Uh, but that might just be this. I mean, I, I did take it back the first time and swap it, but it was pretty much the same. So maybe it's an inaccurate um, capacity. Who the hell knows? Um, so yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to dive down and take a closer look at the device. Then we're going to fly back up. I'm going to load the tank. We're going to have a vape. Uh, then we'll talk about the Milo tank. And then we'll dive down again. Uh, look at the Milo close up, come back up, hit some more shit, and then wrap the sucker up. See you in a mo. Hi guys, we're back again, uh, doing this close up for the debang sticks. Right, so let's just zoom out. Oh, I can't zoom out anyway. So it comes in a nice, tidy, plastic style case. Uh, Smart 30S, uh, as you can, I'm trying not to get a lens glare. Um, the bang sticks, an alternative to smoking, the different colours that you can get, um, all the usual precautions on the back there. Uh, I won't bother reading it out because you can see it quite well there. Um, it tells you the capacity of the battery. Um, what the wattage starts from and goes to, what the uh, voltage range is, and the atom atomizer resistance range. Um, it also tells you the box contents, so in the box we've got the device, USB charging cable, manual, and the Ego Thread connector. And it also has the address, um, I'm guessing that's 
the main uh, dis distributor. So let's crack it open. So as you can see there, I've still got my screen protector on it. Um, and there you go. So it starts at two watt. You can single click to go all the way through, or you can press and hold it for a second and it'll automatically start going up and then you just click again or you can just keep hold of the button and it will fly up just like so press that fire button three times and it flies over into voltage mode and the same again you can press and hold for a second and it'll automatically rise or fall or you can keep hold of it and it'll fly up or down The good old logo, the bang sticks uh, with the battery capacity and the little slogan. An alternative to smoking, I don't think it will focus. Rounded back, flat front. Um, there is the platform for the top where your tank sits. Um, I believe this is a 22mm platform. So your standard size sub ohm tanks will fit on top nice and flush. Uh, that's just a serial number for the device for the warranty from the shop. And we've got a bit of a shocked face. Micro USB port on the bottom which uh, is one of the cons of mine. Excuse me. We'll set that down. In the box. This groovy plastic device um, just pops out. Got your USB charger, micro USB one end, and standard USB the other. We all know what one of them is. You've got your Ego thread adapter, so it's 510 one end, and your Ego the other. Obviously, I've not used that. And then right in the bottom, we've got your little fold out instruction manual. Again, it's telling you how you can get into the different modes. For some reason, it's explaining how to charge it. automatic protection so if you hold in the fire button for longer than 10 seconds the device automatically shuts off to prevent it shorting out or overheating it also has a shortcut protection so um, it helps the device from shorting it also has a low resistance protection so <clears throat> let's say you're trying to fire um, a 0.2 ohm uh, nickel coil um, it, it just won't fire it um, it'll tell you to, um, well it'll basically display now atomizer um, as a, a low power alert so the battery icon which is just there will start blinking um, and at that point you realise that your vape's getting weaker and weaker uh, and that, uh, at that point you're to put the bad boy on charge so yeah guys uh, that's the device uh, there's not a great deal more to say about it really um, so we're gonna go back up um, load up a tank and we'll see how it fires I'll see you in a mo hi guys we are back once again to carry on this awesome review uh, I hope you guys like it I didn't really want to make it this long, um, so I do, I do apologise, um, I'm trying to make it as entertaining as I possibly can, so, um, yeah, let's load this tank, um, I'm currently loading up the E-Leaf Milo tank with a, a 0.5 ohm coil in, full airflow and my current all day vape is Heisenberg by the Dogs Dripper
get back in watt mode go up to 20 watts because that's my preferred wattage for this juice um, for another video quite annoyingly I've just bloody found out that I've become PG intolerant um, now I've been vaping on and off for the past two years so this is beyond me as to why it can happen um, but yeah I just thought I'd mention that because it really um, how can I put it without swearing it it really uh, done me heading basically um, I went out yesterday I bought loads of uh, tea juices red as there because I love the stuff it's bloody 80 PG in it so I, I managed to take one bottle back because I hadn't opened it and the other bottles ended up in the shitting bin Anyway, let's, let's have a crack. So, Elif Milo, the band sticks 30 watt. Let's have a go. Let's, let's vape this shit 20 watts. Sorry, guys. Hmm, very good device, uh, as I say, if you're um, just getting into your sub you're coming off your ego um, spinners or your ego twists or whatever, then, and, and you know, you, you don't want to be the same as everybody else and have an e-leaf eye stick, grab yourself one of these, these are brilliant. Um, and I think these are the same price. Um, obviously, I, I don't um, get things chucked at me for reviews. I, I buy these out my own pocket. This cost me £40. Um, I got this and a Inican iSub sub own tank. Um, but I kind of broke that. I snapped the plastic tank uh, twice. Well, this is impressive guys for such an entry level device it's great right so let's set this aside and crack on with the Milo that's what the Milo looks like adjustable airflow on the bottom there can adjust it yeah adjustable airflow to the point where you've you've always got one hole open um, when it's on full you've got three open at the front two open at the back you close one off on the back you've got one open at the back two open at the front now with all my tanks I have I always have them on full airflow uh, 510 thread on the bottom removable 510 drip tip so you can put any drip tip that you want on it so you, you can stick your favourite 510 drip tip on there and it's all good to go so what does the box look like I hear you ask it looks like that so to do this review better we're going to dive back down and take a look at this bad boy closer. See you in a mo. Hi guys, we're back again to carry on this review of this sexy tank. Now as you can see, the artwork on the box is very nice. Got you. Scanning code there. Oh, the back back it says Milo. Milo Atomizer is especially designed for the Lee fans to better play with high output batteries. It is constructed out of stainless steel along with its glass tube body and glass mouth piece. The coil is sub ohm at 0.5 ohm to produce a smooth vape and then it gives you your the hold it's not to be used by anyone under 18 or by pregnant women or anything like that bloody bloody blah. blah, blah. Um, 
And at this point I'd like to point out that you can actually get temperature control coils for this now. Um, this tank takes the exact same coils as the Ely 5 just 2 tank, so they're interchangeable. Um, so if you you know you, you're running out, you've you know you've got your Milo and you've got the I just and you're running out of Milo coils and you're like shit man I'm running out and my local shop doesn't sell them, I've got to order off the internet and you start flapping your wings like some bird on drugs. But, you know, you can just go to your vape cupboard and go, oh yeah, I can just stick an I just 2 coil in my Milo. So let's crack this sucker open. So you come in and you've got your user manual, which is pretty standard really. Um, yeah, uh, notice for use. Thank you for choosing the product, blah de blah de blah. It tells you that it's recommended for use between 20 and 30 watts. Um, I think it performs best at bang on 20, but other people may think differently. Now, the, these reviews, a lot of it's subjective since we all have our own preferences, but these reviews are here to just give you guys an idea. And, you know, if you're thinking of buying this product, you watch these reviews to further make up your mind. So, it's pretty standard, really. There's, there's nothing fancy going on there, so stick that back. Now, um, these tanks do come with two coils. You've got your spare coil there. As you can see, I've not used this yet. This is another 0.5 uh, sub ohm coil. The coil that's loaded already in it when it arrives is another 0.5 sub ohm coil. As I say, drip tips fully removable, um, Pyrex glass, Pyrex glass drip tip with stainless steel construction bottom with a double O ring to prevent leaks. Um, with it being a glass tube, um, it does can it does um, get a lot of con condensation in it, as you can see there. That's all that is, it's not juice or anything, so you don't need to worry. And the whole lot comes apart, so basically it's bottom fill. So you just unscrew it. Now it is uh, quite a stiff tank, it certainly won't leak on you. Set that down. And there's your bottom, as, as I was showing you before, with the adjustable airflow. It's going to be tricky to adjust it because I am now covered in bloody juice. But you get the gist. Huge o-ring round the edge there, and another huge o-ring down here. To replace the coil, you simply just unscrew. And it'll pop right out. Quite a large coil. Um, as you can see, the juice holes are, are fairly large juice holes. Maximum flavour and clouds out of this. Wait for this stupid camera to bloody focus. Let's just screw that back in there. Remember guys, never over tighten your coils when you're sticking them in, you just want them to be hand tight. Don't go mad and start getting your wrench out and stuff because you'll just, you know, you'll, you'll just ruin the whole thing and it'll start leaking and stuff and, and that's never good. Uh, I'll just wipe my hands on my top, that'll do. Now obviously, um, I can't tip it upside down or anything to show you it properly because, stupidly, I've got it full of juice. Uh, I couldn't wait to get on this. Uh, will it focus, 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 focus? You've got the Milo branded there on the chimney. Quite a large chimney. It does all come apart, so you can change the glass if you was to smash it. Thankfully, touch wood, I've never smashed a tank yet. But there is a first time for everything. To screw it back together, just marry it up, give it a good push, twist away, till it starts getting tight. Now, you will notice that on the bottom of the chimney, if this stupid thing will focus, there's 
there's little grooves. Each of these grooves marry up to the juice holes, as you can see there. Make sure you've married these up so that you can get good uh, juice flow. Um, now, I must mention that when using one of these tanks for the first time, you do have to prime the coil. Uh, to prime the coil, if you don't know, um, on the cotton bits, the, the juice holes on the coil, you just put a few drops of your liquid on each, and then a few drops down the centre of the coil. Set it down for a minute or so, and then load it into your base. Screw all your tank back together, bang it on your mod, give it a test fire, give it a quick toke. Um, and if it doesn't taste burn, you're good to go. If it does taste burn, give it a shake, set it back down for another minute or so, and then try again, and it should be good to go. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to come back up top, um, and we're going to wrap this sucker up. Um, I like to take this moment to say um, thank you very much for watching this video. I, I, I know it's been a long one, and I appreciate you sticking with me. I'm just getting into these, so hopefully... I'll start getting into the swing of it and we'll do more entertaining and faster videos for you. So, I'll see you in a mo. Welcome back, my lovely people. Um, I'll said it once and I'll say it again. Thank you so much for bearing with me. Um, I was quite a bit nervous doing this video, really. I'm bound to get some bloody haters on I You get them everywhere just stupid internet trolls that hate you even though they've never met you and hate everything that you do and blah 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 but sod them sod them sod them these videos are for you lovely people who enjoy watching reviewers like me <laughs> hey if you're a reviewer and you've got tips feel free to share them I'm always willing to learn I'm not a dingbat. So, yeah, uh, this that is the review for the Eleve Milo and the Debang Sticks 30 Watt mod. Um, would I recommend the mod? Absolutely, yes, I would. Um, any of you guys out there looking to start sub um and you don't want to be like everybody else, you want to be different, you want a different device. Grab yourself one of these, there'll be a link in the description as to where you can get yourself one at the best price i found. Um, and that's that. Would I recommend the tank? Absolutely. Yes, I would. I love this tank. It's one of the favourite tanks in my collection, and I'm a tank man. Um, I do the odd bit of dripping, but not very often. Always like my tanks. Do I like the 510 drip tip? No, not really. I prefer the drip tip off the scents, Hericles. So for the purpose of this end vid, I will use this dripper, drip tip, sorry. Um, yes, I would recommend this tank, it's a nice cheap tank. Um, I think you can pick them up for less than £20 now. Uh, they're not new tanks, that they've been around for a while. Um, and as I say, they do share the same coil as the Ely Vigils 2 tank. Um, and for that reason, um, you can put a 0.2 ohm nickel coil in this badass. Stick it on your temperature control mod, like this one. The iStick 30 watt TC. And go hell for leather and batter the shit. Uh, so yeah. Let's get a hit of this shit and we'll wrap this sucker up and um, we will see you in another video soon. Thank you very much for watching.